Today, we're talking all things van security. And we ain't talking about these guns. Anyways, so first line of security, I stay strapped. No, seriously, like I keep straps in the van. And I'm gonna show you guys why I keep furniture straps. So definitely highly recommend. So backstory. So when I was living in an apartment community, my van got broken into twice. And how I know it had is before I converted this van, I actually had a divider and it had like, it looked like a cage. It wasn't a cage. I didn't have a cage in here, but that's what it looked like. So essentially it protected everything from the back of the van from the front of the van. I would have equipment that I would store in the van. That's before I did a no build conversion on the van. The person or people that broke into the van actually got access through the front of the van. And I came out in the morning and this happened on two different occasions. I do not smoke. I do not like the smell of smoke. I've never been a smoker. But the reason I had known that someone had been in here is because in the floorboard, there was still a burning cigarette. It was like half smoked. And I guess they just dropped it in the floor and decided to leave. That happened on two different occasions. So at the time I felt super violated, like someone was in my personal space that did not belong there. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my top security tips and suggestions. These are not all inclusive. Um, some things that I just don't discuss for obvious reasons. These are just some basic security tips that I recommend to prevent someone from gaining quick access into your vehicle are furniture straps. Now, also, some of you are gonna be like, well, can't they just break the window? Can't they just da 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 da? Like, if people wanna get in, let's just be honest, a pro's gonna get in. These are deterrents. These are things that you're putting in place so that your vehicle is more difficult and they move on to the next one. I'm gonna demonstrate how I use these. So it's super quick, super easy and affordable. And the thing I like about these furniture straps is even when you're sleeping in the back of the van, you can still slide under the furniture straps and drive off in a hurry if you needed to. I'll post a link for all of these items uh, from Amazon so that you can use them as well. So we have the straps. We're gonna put these through the door handles and then we're going to ratchet them in this through the door handle and we're going to pull it over and then you're going to do the same thing on this side you're going to loop it through and then you have this ratcheting um, section here So then you're just gonna continue, gonna push this down and continue to pull. I'm gonna do it with my mouth because I'm trying to film this and pull at the same time. All right, so there you go. And you're gonna tighten it as much as you can. And then essentially it's gonna create tension between this door all the way across and no one's going to be able to open from the outside, trust me. And then it's super easy to undo. You just push, push down, and there you go. Another thing I like about using the furniture straps is you just simply roll it and it's super compact. So when I'm not using it, I just store it in the front door storage. Which brings me to my second line of defense, and that is pepper spray or pepper gel. What you're allowed to, to have varies from state to state. So definitely make sure that you're checking what's allowed in your state. Here in North Carolina, we can open carry, get your concealed carry, we can conceal carry. So here in North Carolina, don't pull up on us <laughs> because our state's like, you know what, do what you gotta do. Another thing that I recommend is using objects that you may 
have in your van that serve other purposes that could also be defense mechanisms. Anything from a hammer that you could use to repair things can also do some damage. Knives, you know, anything that you have could also serve purpose. Even like some cleaning agents or things like that. Try to think outside of the box, not just, you know, what weapons, um, what could serve as a weapon if needed. Let's talk about some other things that are unrelated to outside tangible objects. Situational awareness. So be aware of your surroundings. Also, when you go into a place to park for the evening, try to back in. That way, if you need to pull out in a hurry, you can definitely do that. Obviously, it helps if you have a partner with you or someone with you, a friend, someone that you can maybe caravan with. If there's someone that you can share your location with, give your itinerary to, just someone that knows where you're headed in the world. You know, something happens, then there's someone that can check in and notify law enforcement. Staying as connected for security purposes is highly recommended, but you still can feel disconnected when you need it. And that's, that's probably what I like the most is I need personal time, um, especially like when I'm traveling and disconnecting to reconnect with nature. Um, I still want someone to know, you know, where I am. Outside of that, before you travel to a location, do your research. You know, you're new to a city. For example, here in Charlotte, there's some areas that I personally stay clear of, especially when the sun goes down. You won't catch me there. But obviously, like if you're passing through somewhere and you find yourself in a situation where you're stranded, it's still good to have measures in place to protect yourself. But um, maybe you don't have to go through those places. Maybe there's an alternative route um, that's more safe. Let's just go ahead and put it out there. You know, there's some places that I prefer not to travel through because of my ethnicity. I'm cautiously aware if I know a place, you know, feels a certain type of way. I don't really want a part of that you know. Having AAA service is definitely something else I recommend. Having to know how to change a tire, you know, basic mechanics is important, but also having AAA so that you don't have to do it is convenient as well. And that's still along the lines of safety. If you run out of gas, you know, AAA gotcha. You need to be towed up to a certain mileage you know, I've had to do that several times, not in this van, but in other past vehicles. It was literally stress-free. They, AAA is amazing. They've changed a battery that died. Like I purchased, they'll bring a new battery and you'll pay them and they'll, you know, swap it out. So that's handy. AAA just, I highly recommend, honestly, anyone to get AAA, but especially if you're a traveler. On that same note, I also have like jumper cables. I have like a, a self jump device. So if my battery dies and I don't have a signal or I can't, you know, AAA is like, hey, I can't be there till tomorrow morning, you know, but I need to leave. I have those things that I can use as well. So essentially preparation is key. Another recommendation that I have as it relates to safety, window coverings. So, you know, blackout curtains. So obviously what I do is like when I'm traveling, I pull these closed for multiple purposes, for temperature regulation and for privacy. Don't have money, you know, pocketbooks, everything that's of value sitting in visible uh, space where people would be enticed to break in. So my next recommendation for safety is making sure that you're up to date on all of the mechanics, um, all of the repair needs of your vehicle. Ensure, you know, your tires are good, tire pressure. Do you have a spare tire in the event that you need to change a tire? Another suggestion I have is to have a road atlas. That way, if you lose cellular data and you need to navigate, still 
can go where you need to go. In addition to that, if you have storage available on your device, you can definitely pre-download like download turn by turn navigation for a set area. So on Google Maps, what you can do is you can plug in a location, like a destination, and then you can expand out and it'll tell you how much storage space you need. So thank you guys for watching today's video. If you have any suggestions of things I did not mention, feel free to leave them in the comments. Also, um, if you like this video, please like it. Please subscribe. Have an amazing week. Wherever you are, stay safe, stay vigilant. Yeah. Until next time. Bye, you guys.